Hello friends, welcome to the watercolor space. In today's session we are painting the winter landscape using watercolors, focusing on how to render conifer and pine trees amidst a snowy backdrop. Utilizing white gouache will capture the serene nature of softly falling snow, while adding salt to mimic the delicate texture of snowflakes dusting the forest. Our recent trip to the High Sierra near Lake Tahoe inspired this piece. Amidst the stunning Lake Tahoe Basin and the historic trails of Donner Pass, we found ourselves enveloped in the atmosphere of an oncoming snowstorm. The contrast of the dark, resilient trees against the fresh snow was striking, and we aim to bring this imagery to life in our painting today. For those joining us for the first time, a warm welcome. You've stepped into a space where we celebrate the beauty of the natural world through watercolor, learning and growing together as artists. Whether you are here to refine your skills or simply to find a moment of peace through painting, you came to the right place. Let's embark on this exciting journey together, inspired by the serene landscape of the forest in snow. For this session, I used the following supplies. 140 pound cold press paper, the limited set of colors picked from the White Knights palette, the designer white gouache, sea salt, the 3B pencil, kneaded eraser, my all-purpose calligraphy brush, three-line flat brush, and the liner, paper tissue, clean water, and the sprayer. I will be calling out the colors I used as I move along. Let's capture the magic of the snowy scene together, turning inspiration into a watercolor painting. As we venture into today's painting, let me share the moment that inspired this piece. A few weeks ago, moments before the storm, we found ourselves suspended in the slow-moving line of cars, carefully navigating the winding road along the Donner Pass. Snowflakes began falling, casting a hush over the world, a quiet that felt like a whisper. It was a moment suspended, allowing us to fully embrace the winter landscape that stretched out around us. This serene atmosphere, where the air grew soft, and the world seemed to hold its breath in anticipation, is what we aim to capture in this painting today. We will attempt to convey the quiet moment, the beauty of nature's pause before the storm. Let's begin by slightly sketching the forest scene with a pencil, laying down gentle lines to map out where our trees will stand, and defining the foreground where patches of the earth remain exposed, not yet blanketed by snow. We are giving loose suggestions of this winter landscape, the serene winter moment to life. The sketch will merely serve us as a guide, suggesting the placement of natural elements, allowing us the freedom to explore and adapt as we add layers of color and texture. In bringing our forest and snow to life, I have selected a palette that could help us reflect the depth and nuances of the scene. From the White Knight set, I chose Matter Lake Red Light, Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Yellow Ochre, Green and Mars Brown. Feel free to use the substitute colors you may have at home. I hope this selection of colors will help us capture the tones of the earth peeking through the crisp snow, as well as the snowy atmosphere in the forest up in High Sierra. I begin the painting with pre-wetting the paper in the areas where I want to suggest the forest in the distance, proceeding with the wet-on-wet -wet application of watercolors. This approach ensures that our colors will blend smoothly on the paper, creating soft, diffuse effects that will help us capture the feel of a forest in snow. As the paper begins to absorb the water and after wiping the excess water with a tissue, I start to charge the sky area with a mix of cobalt blue and ultramarine blue 
adding just a touch of Matter Lake red light to evoke the presence of clouds. In the move to suggest the falling snowflakes, I introduced salt to the still moist colors of our first wash. This technique a wonderful alchemy of art and science. By using both small and large crystals, I am attempting to mimic the natural variation found in snowflakes. While the paper retains its sheen, it's a good time to bring our distant trees to life. By varying our color mixes using the palette I've selected, I begin to apply strokes that hint at the forest growing in the distance. Integrating Mars Brown into the mix of Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine and a touch of red, I start to suggest the presence of barren trees. Then by adding green, I begin painting the conifers and pines, infusing our scene with the life and resilience of evergreens amidst the snow. of yellow ochre, red and Mars brown in our painting gives us a deeper narrative into our landscape. This warm hues subtly suggest the inevitable shift from the cold embrace of winter to the hopeful, renewing touch of spring. Oh, how I loved working on moist surface and see how these shapes naturally blur and blend creating a soft, diffused look that perfectly captures the atmosphere of trees shrouded in snow and mist. But for now, I need to change my attention to the foreground area, as I can feel my paper is starting to lose its sheen. This is a sign that I need to leave this area alone until it dries fully. As we transition to portraying the foreground in our painting, the focus shifts to the patches of earth that peek through the snow's blanket. Using my flat brush, I start by applying clear water to the paper, laying a path that will guide the viewer's gaze towards the forest. The step ensures a seamless blend of colors, creating a sense of continuity and flow within the composition. Next, I charge my brush with a richer, more saturated mix of Matter Lake Red, Ultramarine Blue, and Mars Brown. This combination yields variations of muted purples, a choice that subtly complements the wintry theme while adding warmth to the foreground. To bring interest to this area, I will sprinkle hints of muted purples as well as green throughout. The green not only breaks the monotony of the purples, but also hints at the resilience of life, waiting beneath the snow to emerge with the arrival of spring. This layering technique with its interplay of colors helps to create a foreground that is rich in texture and depth.
With our forest background now dry, we transition to the next phase of our painting, focusing on trees that stand a bit closer in our landscape. This step allows us to layer our composition, adding depth and richness to the scene. By painting loosely, we invite viewers to engage their imagination, to fill in the blanks and become active participants in the scene we are creating. Using our chosen colors with green dominating the scene, I apply the paint in a manner that suggests the form and presence of these nearer trees without delineating every branch and leaf. This way of painting will help us maintaining the overall ethereal quality of our work and mirror the way the details in nature often blend into one another, especially in the diffuse light of a snowy landscape. This layering of paint with its subtle suggestions of form and structure builds on foundation we've laid, bringing our painting closer to completion. It reflects a way of seeing and interpreting the world that values impression and emotion over literal representation, a reminder of the beauty that lies in the imperfections and the spaces between. As we prepare to work on the foreground, I concentrate on mixing our colors to achieve a richer green and dark brown. These hues will help us highlight the focal point of our scene, a young tree standing resilient on the forest floor. This tree seemingly untouched by the freeze and the harsh winter storms typical of the High Sierra becomes a symbol of hope. It reminds us of the strength found in vulnerability and the importance of moving forward embracing the change as a part of growth. This tree's resilience resonates deeply with me echoing my own journey of acceptance and transformation. Like many, I faced my own storms, grappling with a shift in identity and purpose, following a significant life change. The process of letting go of the past version of myself, a capable nurse on the path of becoming a nurse practitioner, only to be challenged by debilitating arthritis, was not easy. It took a long time to embrace the present me, to find stability and strength in what once seemed like uncertainty. This young tree's perseverance inspired a realization within me. It's okay to evolve, to step into the unknown and discover new grounds. My venture into watercolor painting in a world brimming with talented artists is a testament to this belief. It signifies that change, while daunting, can lead to fulfilling paths we might never have envisioned for ourselves. And so, as we continue to create and share our art, I hope this message resonates with you. Remember, your art is a reflection of your unique journey, filled with beauty, resilience, and the capacity to inspire. By embracing who you are and what you create, you contribute something truly special to the world. And to you who watched this painting session to the stage, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for joining me here today. Your presence, your curiosity and your passion for art enrich the space in ways words can hardly capture. If you have any questions, thoughts or wishes, please share them in the comments below. Your voice is a vital part of this community and I cherish every chance to hear from you and to learn about your experiences. And for those who wishes to dive deeper into the world of watercolor, I've created the playlist just for you. Watercolor Basics is filled with tips and tricks of this beautiful art. And Watercolor Stories invites you to paint alongside me, sharing in the adventure of bringing our visions to life on paper.
Thank you, my dear friends, for all your support. Your interest fuels this channel's spirit. And remember, no matter the circumstances outside, within this moments of creation, we find a shared purpose, a shared joy in art that transcends all barriers. So until we meet again, keep painting, keep exploring, and let the beauty you see in the world outside your window inspire you every stroke of your brush. Your art, your story, adds invaluable colors to the tapestry of our community. Let's continue this beautiful journey together. With love and gratitude, until next time.